What is good family? Ice Age Beats here. Real quick, this is like a really quick video I wanted to cook up real quick. I get a lot of questions asking about, uh, you know, importing sounds and how to like import MIDI packs and sound packs and all that good stuff. So I want to do a quick video, quick, short, simple for those that do not know how to do this and are confused. I'm going to answer all the questions, dig into as much as possible in terms of importing your sounds and all that good stuff. And you're going to get all the answers right here, right now. So let's go. What's good, family? Ice Age Beats here. If you're new to the channel, you're just checking us out, consider subscribing to the channel. Okay, like, share, comment, all that good stuff. It helps a whole lot. Here we do tutorials, we do teachings, we help music producers create beats, cook up beats, fire beats right from the crib. All right, so let's dig in real quick. I'm gonna pull up a sample pack. Um, it's got MIDI in it, it's got sounds in it, so it's basically got everything in it, okay? So essentially, if you download a MIDI pack, if you download a sound pack, anything like that, you're gonna basically just download it from the internet, real simple, and then just pull it onto your desktop from the download folder into onto the desktop folder. It'll probably be a zip file. So I'm gonna show you that right now, okay? So let's dig in real quick. You see this uh, this one file, okay? So the Antidote MIDI pack, which is a pack that me and the bros put together. It's absolutely free. I'll leave a link in the description. It's got a bunch of MIDI in it, it's, it's fire. All right, so, um, Says this is the pack, right? This would be most of the stuff you download is going to be in a zip file. Really simple. All you have to do is just, just literally right click on it. If you have Windows or, or Mac, it doesn't matter. It's, it, the point is you need to extract it. So you can extract all. Um, that works too. Or you can just extract whatever. Just extract it. It may take some time depending on the file size. Okay. So extract it. That should take a few seconds and then we'll be good. You should have a folder like this. Boom. You're good. All right, so what you want to do is you want to drag this into a designated folder, or you can leave it on a desktop. I wouldn't suggest that, though. I drag it into a designated folder. So for me, I have, let me show you what I got. I have a folder called Zay's Library, and I have all of my sounds in here, right? I have everything. I'll even make subfolders, too, like GoTo. that I have my GoTo stuff in it. So everything is in here, right? And this is what FL Studio is going to pull from. It's going to pull from this folder called Zay's Library, right? It's going to pull right from there. So you want to drag this Antidote MIDI pack into Zay's Library. I already have it in here, I believe, so I don't want to drag it in here twice. I think it's in here. No, it's not, but let's just drag it in just to, just for example's sake. Boom. So say we drag it into this subfolder because I'm going to, I'm going to import the whole folder of Zay that's called Zay's Library. Within that, there's subfolders, like this go-to folder, right? So we're gonna drag the Antidote MIDI pack into that folder. We're gonna pull in stuff into the browser window. So really simple, honestly. This is the browser window on the left-hand side. If you don't have access to it, it might be like, like this, right? So keep in mind, if it's like this, go up to, you can go up to the left-hand side and just double-click that, like, that little corner, like this little, this little tab here, and it'll open it up right or you can go to file or view I'm sorry go to view and hit browse really really simple right so make sure you have that browser window up because you can't access the sounds without it essentially right so boom browser window on the left hand side this is where FL Studio is gonna you know place your sound so you download a MIDI pack you download you know whatever what have you it has to be a sound pack it has to be like sounds waveforms or MIDI right it's it's not gonna I mean it's not gonna you know, it's not gonna do plugins, right? If you download a plugin, that's a whole nother thing, right? So, boom, options. So let's import this sound into the browser. Really easy how to do it. We already put the sound inside of our library or our, really just a designated folder. It doesn't matter where it's at, as long as it's placed somewhere, either in the documents folder, the desktop folder, your hard drive, it doesn't matter. So let's go to up to options, hit file settings. It literally takes you right there, right? Takes you to the file settings. Um, and this is this is where it's at. I already did it. So let's just, for example, all you have to do is click on an empty file, right? Boom! It's gonna populate, and you just click on the sound you or, or where the sounds are at. You click on the file where the sounds are at. In my case scenario, it's Zay's library. So you can double click that, but don't click anything else if you have a bunch of subfolders, right? So, anyways, all of these are waves. They're all not waves. They're all sound packs that have like waves in them, one shots, melodies, stuff like that, right? Boom! 
So don't click another subfolder unless that's what you want exactly. In this case scenario, in this example, I want all of this stuff in Zay's library, right? Including the go-to folder, which has the antidote MIDI pack in it that we put into that subfolder. So I want to keep this right here. This is the folder. It says down here on the left-hand side, it says Zay's library. That's what I want. So hit select, boom. And it should show you right here where it's pulling from. So it's pulling from the H drive, which is my hard drive. Uh, it's my external hard drive, and it's going directly to Ice Age Beats and then going to Zay's library, which is that folder that has all the sounds in it, including that go-to sound pack or sound folder, subfolder with all the stuff in it with the antidote MIDI pack that we just put in there, right? So keep in mind, once this is up here, you don't have to do it again. If you drag new folders, new MIDI, new sound packs, if you drag them in there, it'll just update. You just have to update it. All you have to do is refresh. You don't have to like re-import it, right? So boom, this is here, um, and it's there. It'll show you right on the left-hand side, right? I got it up there twice because I'm doing it for the second time for this example. If you want to update it, all you have to do is click this, refresh. It'll literally refresh that folder, whatever you put in that folder, right? Really, really simple, right? So boom, we got this. We go to go to, and as you can tell, the antidote MIDI pack is there. Really easy. So. That's how you import stuff, really simple. So one thing I wanna show you too is, or a, a question I really kept getting lately, I don't know what it is, but it's with the MIDI. Can you use multiple MIDIs? I keep dragging on MIDIs and, and it keeps replacing it. So this is for you, okay? So really simple, simple answers, you can't do that. It's, it's not feasible anyways. If you're trying to use multiple MIDIs on one track or one insert, you're doing too much. I'm gonna be honest with you, but for this for this for this video, I'll show you that you can do it if you have to. Wouldn't suggest it. So when you drag something on, for example, so we're dragging on this MIDI onto Sampler. So Sampler is not an instrument. It's just it's not gonna play anything. But this is the MIDI, right? We drag it on there. Boom. If you grab a whole other MIDI, so we're gonna get rid of clean and we're gonna do like a just just do a whole other MIDI. If we drag this gray life MIDI on there, as you can tell on the left hand side, it shows you the MIDI down there in, the, in the, the browser window. If we drag this on, it's going to replace that MIDI. That's just how it works, right? Like I said, if you're trying to use multiple MIDI, you're trying to do too much. I'm gonna be honest, but like I said, let me show you how you can do it if you had to. So let's grab that uh, clean MIDI again. Let's drag it onto a separate uh, instrument. So now there's two of them, right? It's two instruments. It's on the same layer, so it's going to be on the same pattern, but that doesn't really matter. Put it on its own instrument in the channel rack. Then what you want to do is go inside of this uh, instrument here and, and go into the playlist or into the, um, the piano roll, and you want to copy this. So Control A to select all, Control X to cut, right? You want to copy that MIDI, right? Then you want to dive into this uh, first one, Make sure the, the, the cursor is where you want it to be and hit Control-V. It'll literally paste that second MIDI for you. So as you can tell, you got a whole other MIDI on this left-hand side and then a whole different one on the right-hand side. Like I said, not worth it. But for those out there that are just, you know, wanting to do that, I mean, I just, I don't understand. But it is what it is. Now you have both of them, right? So that's just, that's just the reality. You can't paste a MIDI on and drag another one on and keep dragging them on. It keeps pasting it. That's not how it works. Right, that's not how FL Studio works. That's not really how making music. Mm, let me not say that. Let me just not say that. I'm, I'm about to say something wild. But anyways, that's kind of how you would do that. Really, really, really simple. Um, same thing goes with the sound packs and stuff. Well, not same thing, but like everything else is as usual, right? If you got a one shot or a drum loop, you can drag it in here, right? So you can drag that in here. It'll show you here, or you can put it into. You know, you can put it into the playlist too, or the channel rack as well. If it's like a one shot, for example, let me see. Um, if we drag a one shot bass, we could drag that here in the channel rack so we can like play it on the MIDI. You know what I'm saying? Or we can drag it into the playlist and it could be like a one shot like this and we can paste that around or, or what have you, right? So that is a really simple and easy way to um, import sounds understanding MIDI, understanding how to do that. Like I said, this works for MIDI, it works for sound packs. 
if you're doing plugins it's a whole nother game right you're in you're literally downloading those onto your program system files and then you're just importing those and it's automatically going to do that for you so that is really it if you're looking to make better music you're looking for a course i have one it is the pro beat maker formula course it's a dope course i put this together for it maybe took me a year to put this thing together and i'm always updating i'm constantly getting insight from my students and updating that all the time right so this course is a zero to a hundred right if you're trying to make better beats if you're struggling with this or if you're struggling with just making music in general you're trying to make better beats this course is where you would cover everything in this thing everything from the DAW to making drums melodies mixing you name it so check that out I'll leave that in the description below other than that I'll catch you in the next one peace